Welcome back at 730. Good morning on this Saturday, September 21st. I'm Maddie Kurth and Hannah Gard joins us now with your weather authority forecast. Quite the weekend to get out there, Hannah. Yeah, I would try to get out there and enjoy it. It is going to have a little bit more of a summer feel than we might like for the official first day of fall, which is tomorrow. The fall equinox is at 743 in the morning and we are going to see temperatures kind of in the 90s, but slightly cooler than today. 92 for our high and in the mornings we will still get into the 70s, so it's not an incredibly muggy feel in the morning hours like we would have in the peak summertime, but definitely warmer than we should be. But no chance for rain, so get out there, enjoy it. Maybe have a final pool day as we head into the later half of September. But we are going to see the rain chances increasing through the rest of this week. By Friday, around 40%. But we might have to bump these up because this is going to depend on the tropics, which we're watching a lot of activity out here. We do have multiple systems in the open Atlantic. This one's really kind of wrapping up there. I'll watch for these because they might steal the name of the one that's closer to home. Now, this does have the highest chance of development from the National Hurricane Center, so maybe it'll get there first, but we have a lot to watch farther out. This is the one we care about, though. We are watching low pressure developing over Central America. There's no actual low pressure system right now that is going to eventually become this tropical system. It's going to move into this area of potential formation and that's when we'll see it form. So this is not a cone. This is potentially where we could see that system develop. That includes the Northwestern Caribbean and much of the Gulf of Mexico. So there's still a lot of uncertainty here because it hasn't formed. What we do see is this counterclockwise spin of all this thunderstorm activity around Central America. And that's really starting to fire up. We didn't really have this a couple days ago where you're seeing these big convective areas. That's the purples, that's strong thunderstorm activity. So we will eventually start to see this low coming off. This is what we call the Central American gyre. It's just low pressure over Central America that forms because of the wind direction, but it can spin off these lows. That's exactly what we think is going to happen here based off of that model guidance. Because it is a broad low right now, it's going to take a second to actually come together and form a tighter low pressure system or tropical system. So it takes a while for these to strengthen. So even by Wednesday, we still have very broad low pressure near the Yucatan moving into the Gulf. So we have a ways to go there before we actually see this kind of coming together. But you see this plume of moisture that's going to be entering the Gulf of Mexico and eventually trying to become that system by late week. This is Friday. We still have this plume just kind of sitting in the central Gulf. What we know now, the low has not formed yet. That formation is expected by early or midweek when we'll see it kind of come together. When does it form and where does it form? That's going to be very important because the positioning of that low is going to change how the upper level pattern influences. So then the ultimate trajectory and strength still very unknown at this point. The upper level pattern though that we're going to see, we have two different features. This high that's clockwise spin and this counterclockwise spin that's coming in from the west coast. These have a ways to move too. So this is a lot of uncertainty in the upper level pattern. They have to get all the way over here to the east coast with that high. And then what happens with this low? What's the timing on this swinging by? Does it grab this and pull it over? Or is this high strong enough to kind of block it and keep it farther down to the south? All of this uncertainty means that when you see those posts on Facebook of one model outcome, this is not accurate at this time. We've got to keep watching for that load to develop and then we'll have a better idea as we head into next week. The next two names are Helene and Isaac and then we have Joyce after that. There's a lot of systems out there we got to watch for maybe one of those stealing that name Helene before that system in the Gulf can form, but we'll keep watching it. Enjoy your weekend though. Right now we can think about the tropics in the back of our minds, but we have nice weather ahead. So clear skies right now. Temperatures are in the upper 70s for most of the South Shore, except for we're seeing 73 in Homa, Galliano 72, not bad. Low 70s up on the North Shore too. And we have some drier air. Those low 70 dew points are not feeling too bad. It's just a little bit more muggy down on the south shore, just south of the lake. We'll keep that summer feel. It might be a couple of degrees higher than our actual temperature through the afternoon, but feeling a little bit hot for the autumnal equinox, which is tomorrow. Fall officially will begin at 743 in the morning. It's not going to feel too fall like though. Our highs are going to be 90 degrees for your Sunday. If you're headed out to the Saints game, need that sunscreen. If you're walking to the dome, Try to stay hydrated. Later this week, we'll see the temperatures 
backing off. We'll get to the mid 80s as those rain chances increase. And we'll be watching for the Gulf of Mexico. But this is still, you know, six, seven days out, Maddie, that we need to watch that system as it's trying to form. Slow development is good for us, though. It gives us time to monitor. Yes, yeah, so this weekend we can enjoy fall, even though if you ask me, my house looked like fall three weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, the house might look like fall, but it doesn't feel like fall. And I would say wait still to put up those outdoor Halloween decorations because we still have some tropical stuff to watch. But the mums, the mums are good. Yeah, Do the mums. there you go, the flowers, <laughs> and then your inside decor can be done. That's right. All righty, thank you, Hannah.